makikita yun. Yeah. Uh, good evening everyone here in the Philippines and good day in the United States and in some other parts of Africa. And now tonight, uh, what we are about to study is about the continuation of Acts, the book of Acts and about the body of Christ. And once again, we entertain questions. If you have your questions, doubts, or anything that uh, would you like to uh, add in this lesson, all of them are welcome, and we will entertain them. And then, uh, after this discussion, uh, Pastor Joe will open, will open some uh, questions as well. He will clarify so many things, especially there was a question earlier that Pastor Jonathan... Uh, Mention so many kinds of body, all right. So he will he will just give the clarification for that statement. And to brother Mike uh, Mike Rudas, of course, you have your you have your question posted on the comment section in my Facebook or Facebook of Pastor Joe. Uh, it will also be touched in this lesson. So before we start, let's have a word of prayer. Let's pray, Father Lord in heaven. Thank you so much. For allowing us at this moment, Lord, to discuss another thing, Lord, about your words. Lord, truly this is such a blessing uh, to communicate with you through your words. And I pray, Lord, we pray the intervention of the Holy Spirit, Lord. May you rest in our minds and open our hearts, Lord, to perceive, perceive, Lord, what you're going to say in this study. Lord, thank you so much. Once again, guide us, Lord, throughout this study. In Jesus' name we ask this prayer. Amen, amen, amen. May I call on Pastor Jonathan? All right, so. Hello, Mike. Okay, then, Mike, nothing. Okay, then, Mike, nothing. All right, so good evening. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. And hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, this will be a uh, addition to what we have uh, uh, started uh, last night at. Uh, uh, we're going to study further about the book of Acts. Kasi ako naniniwala na uh, this is a very big uh, study. It has a lot of scope. But uh, we're going to tackle at least the book of Acts, at least to simplify things. Pero hindi, yun ang talagang paraan eh. Paraan ng pag-aaral ng Bible. So I'm not just going to show to you the bird's eye view so we can understand, at least Amen. magkaroon tayo ng uh, fundamental uh, beliefs. And these are the starting points wherein we're going to get uh, uh, started on studying uh, the right division. No? So it's, we have to have to apply right division in our study of the Bible. Because the Bible said in 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show thyself. A proven to God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So may I ask you to please open the Bible in 1 Corinthians 10, verse number 32. 1 Corinthians 10, verse number 32. Alright? In 1 Corinthians 10, 32. Alright? Ito po sinasabi ng Bible dito. 1 Corinthians 10, verse 32. The Bible said here in 1 Corinthians 10, 32. Give none offense, neither to the Jews... To the Jews, nor to the Gentiles, nor to the Church of God. So Paul mentioned about the Church of God. So we know the Jewish people, the Jews, most especially the Gentiles. So these three groups are mentioned in the book of First Corinthians. It means uh, during the time of Paul writing his epistles, the Church of God is already existing. So we're going to explain that. Amen. Later on, at kung paano ito nag-start, when the Church of God is started. Alright, so, uh, number one, the Jewish people or Israel started in the time of Abraham. Remember, in Genesis 12, God called Abraham to be the father of a great nation. And that nation became the nation of the Jews, or what we call now as Israelites, or the Israel. Alright, so the Gentiles started from Adam up to Abraham. So Abraham was a Syrian and Adam, alright, kasi nung panahon na yun, Adam and then Noah and after the, the flood, of course, so from Ham, Shem, and Japheth. 
So na populate nila ang buong mundo and that is the start of the Gentile nations, all right? So since God called Abraham, so he started a nation for his name, a nation for his name. And that's what we call the Israelites or the Jewish people. So tatlo po ito, three, the Jews, the Gentiles, and the Church of God. As we have studied last night, Israel, all right, started with signs, okay? So take note of that. Israel started with Science. With what? Signs. Exodus chapter number 4. They started with signs. When God called Moses all right, to, to lead the whole Israel, the whole nation, He gave him uh, signs, all right, ability to do some miracles. So the nation will believe that He is the chosen one or He's going to be the leader. Of that nation. So they started with signs. Alright. Healings. Exodus chapter number 4. Okay. So this is just a background. So we're going to just. Uh, we start by the foundation. Now the Gentiles of course. They don't seek for a sign. Because. They don't need it. Because they have not started with. Signs. Alright. So the Bible said. The Jew. The Jew. Require a sign. But Gentiles seek after wisdom. The Greeks seek after wisdom. Alright? So, how about the Church of God? Because having a Bible telling us in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 32, if none offense to the Jews, nor to the Gentiles, nor to the Church of God. So, there are three groups, okay? Three groups present right now, no? The Jews, the Gentiles, and the Church of God. When you are called Jew, it means you are not part of the church of God. Hmm. You can be a Jew, all right, saved. And you can be a Jew unsaved. Uh -huh. Okay? So when you are unsaved, you remain to be called Jews in the Bible, right? Physical. But if you are saved, you are also a Jew, but you are part of the church of God. Okay? When you are a Gentile, and you are saved. You are part of the church of God. Okay? Now, saan po natin makikita yun? You go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse number 13. Okay? So, the Holy Spirit will put you into the body of Christ. If you are saved, then God will put you into the body of Christ. So, if you are saved, whether you are Jew or whether you are what? A Gentile. So, we can see that also in the book of Ephesians chapter number 3 all right chapter number 3 actually it is also discussed in chapter number 2 of the book of Ephesians all right so the body of Christ is composed of saved Jew and saved Gentiles all right the body of Christ is composed of Jew and what saved Gentiles you go to Ephesians chapter 4 Verse number 5. Ilan bang body? Somebody asked me, Pastor, you have, you have said many body, but I only referring to one body. Because the Bible said, there's only one body. One body. Isa lang body, no? That body, okay, is the body of Christ. So we call that body also as church. Okay? So please, be, don't be confused. There's only one body in the New Testament. And that one body is referring to the church of God. Amen. Okay? So that church of God is referring to that body. Alright? So let's get some verses. Right? To prove that. Let's get some verses to prove that. First, uh, Corinthians chapter number 1. First Corinthians chapter number 1. Okay? You go to First Corinthians chapter number 1 to prove that. Verse 2. Unto the church of God, which is at Corinth. You see the word? Church of God. Church of God. Okay. You go to Galatians chapter number 1. Galatians chapter number 1. Okay. Look at verse number 13. For you have heard of my conversation in time past, in the Jews' religion, how that beyond measure, I persecuted the church of God. So, merong church of God. Okay. You go to uh, uh, Galatia, uh, Colossians. Go to Colossians chapter 
number 1. Colossians, Colossians chapter number 1. Okay, Colossians 1. Okay, you go to verse number 16. For by Him, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, for all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether there be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by Him and for Him. So, okay ba yung sound natin? Brother Anna, would you please uh, listen kung okay yung sound natin? Alright? Okay, so kung inyo pong naririnig, alright? Ito po ang sabi ng Bible sa so verse 18. And He is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things He might have the preeminence. Okay? So magnot lang po kayo kung mahina po yung sound because meron po tayong makasama dito. They are checking the sound. Alright, what is the church? The church of God. It is called the body. Alright? The Bible said it is called the body. The head of the body, the church. Another verse. Verse 22. In the body of His flesh through death. Okay. I think uh, dito tayo sa verse 24. Who now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is what? The church. Okay, ulit-ulit po yon. sinasabi ng Bible. It's about the church. So what is the body? It is the church. Okay, you go to Ephesians chapter number 5. Ephesians chapter number 5. We go to verse 23. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. You see that? Okay? So the body or the church. Okay? So binanggit ng Bible dito po, uh, so verse number uh, 32, this is the great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Alright? So, sinabi po ng Bible that this is a mystery. The mystery of the body. Alright? Ephesians chapter number 3. Ephesians chapter number 3. You go to Ephesians chapter number 3. Verse number 5. Which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, revealed to the apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of His promise in Christ by the gospel, whereof, remember, by the gospel, whereof, I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of His grace unto me whom I'm less than the least of all saints in this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make all men see that the, in the, is the fellowship of the mystery. What is that mystery? It is the mystery of the body which from the beginning of the world have been hid in God who created all things by Jesus Christ. Okay? So that body is the church. And that body is composed of Jew and Gentiles. Alright, you go to 1 Corinthians chapter number 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse number 13. The Bible said in verse 12, For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body being many are one body. Yun po ang sinasabi ng Ephesians 4, 5. So also is Christ, for by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body. So ang baptizer dito is the Spirit, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bound or free, and have been all made to drink into one Spirit. So that one body is composed of Jews and Gentiles saved. Hmm. Saved, alright? Saved. So one body is composed of what? The Jews and the Gentiles. Kaya nga po, tatlo po sila, tatlong group. Jew, Gentiles, and what? The okay. Church of God. Is that, is that clear? Is that clear? Amen, okay? amen. Okay, now, there is a question. Sabi niya sa akin, Pastor, saan ba member si Paul? Saan ba sa member that's si Paul? A, that's a good question. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 4, please. Ephesians chapter 4. Okay, Ephesians chapter number 4. Right? 
Tignan po ninyo sa Ephesians chapter number 4. Look at this one, verse number 4. The Bible said, uh, basahin po natin yung verse 1. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vacation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling. There's only one body, not many bodies. Okay? Now you go to verse number 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the defying of what? The body of Christ. So inilagay ng Diyos sa church, ang ano? Ang apostles, prophets, and evangelists, and teachers, and, and pastors. So, Paul is part of the body, and that body, okay, binigay ng Diyos ang apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, and for the buying of the body of Christ. So, if Paul is saved, alright, if Paul is saved as a Jew, he is part of the body. Mm -hmm. Okay? So there is only one body and Paul is a member of that body. The Lord gave some apostles, alright, to the body for the defying of the body of Christ. So if you are going to study the book of Acts, okay, because so, that's question, alright? The question is, uh, when the body started? When the body started? Kailan nag start ang body? So you must uh, check first the Bible, alright? to understand that okay now let's uh, see first okay ano ba yung purpose ng Diyos sa kanyang first coming anong purpose ng Diyos sa kanyang first coming why he came makita natin sa preaching niya doon sa yung uh, yung calling niya doon sa 12 apostles let's go to Matthew chapter 10 you go to Matthew chapter 10 tingnan natin yung reason bakit po siya dumating sa first coming niya Matthew chapter 10 okay Okay, Matthew chapter number 10. Matthew chapter number 10. If you are there, ito yung commission niya, the apostles to preach the gospel of the kingdom. Amen. Right? Amen. Okay, you go to verse number 1. And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Now, the names of the twelve apostles are these. The first, Simon, who is called Peter, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Matthew, James, and then we have uh, that Lebeus, his name was Tadeo, Simon, the Canaanite, Judas Iscariot. Alright, so yung 12, according to the Bible, wala po si Paul dito, ah. Okay? So dito po, sa first coming of Christ, alright, ito yung panahon ng Gospels, they are preaching what? The Gospel of the Kingdom of Heaven. Remember, Okay? God chose 12 to preach what? The gospel of the kingdom to the Jewish people. Look at this one, verse 5. This 12 Jesus sent forth and commanded them saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans. Enter ye not, but rather to the lordship of what? The house of Israel. So the concentration of their preaching is the Jewish people, right? So go not to the Gentiles, Samaritans, you go only to the house of Israel, all right? Mm -hmm. So that's that's the point there, okay? So kaya po sila sinugo ng Panginoon because they're going to be commissioned to preach the gospel of the kingdom. Verse 7, and as she go preach saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So when you say at hand, it means it is ready to set up. So, the kingdom of heaven, yan po yung, ano, yung theme. Theme ng Bible yan, yung kingdom. So, if you're going to see, alright, Jesus Christ will be, uh, uh, will be uh, presented as the king. Kaya nga sa Matthew chapter 1, makita ninyo yung king, di ba? Yung line ng king, yung yeah. genealogy ng king. Amen. Pagdating sa Matthew chapter 2, makita ninyo yung birth ng king. Where is the king of the Jews? Sabi ng mga, ng, mga, ano, ng mga wise men, pagdating sa Matthew chapter 3, the herald of the king. Tama? 
and then you're going to chapter 5 to 7 that is the kingdom of the the king uh, the constitution of the kingdom pagdating mo sa chapter 10 ito naman yung pagcommission para i-preach yung gospel the good news about the kingdom all right so now if you're going to check that going to check that this kingdom offered all right to the Jews was offered even after Christ's death. Even after Christ's resurrection. Diba? Nag-resurrect na si Christo dito? Okay? Alright? Even after Christ's resurrection, this kingdom is being offered to the Jewish people. Okay? If you're going to see that in the book of Acts chapter 7, let's go to the book of Acts chapter number 7. Alright? Acts chapter number 7. Acts chapter number 7. Ito po yung ang, ang speaker po dito is Stephen. Alright, Stephen is preaching here and um, if you're going to see, binigay niya po yung history, yung starting point <coughs> ng, uh, ni Abraham hanggang sa panahon ni Moses and then ito po sabi niya sa verse number uh, uh, 47, but Solomon built him a house, how big the most high dwelleth not in the temples made with hands as said the prophet, heaven is my throne and earth is my what? Footstool. Footstool. What house will ye build me, said the Lord? Or what is the place of my rest? Hath not my hands made all these things? Ye is the naked, sabi Stephen, and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost, as your fathers did, <laughs> so do ye. Itong pag-resist nilang ito, yung tinatawag nilang, yung tinatawag nilang blasphemy against the Holy Ghost, ito yung pag-resist nila ng kingdom. Because they resist the Holy Ghost, alright, kasi kasama ang, ano, kasama ang Holy Ghost yan eh. Amen. Pagsiset up ng kingdom. Okay? You resist the Holy Ghost, alright, what they did, stiff-necked, uncircumcised in heart and ears, he's talking to the Israelites. Hmm. Acts chapter 7. As your fathers did, so do ye, which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted, and they have slain them, which should be full of the coming of the just one. You know, okay? The coming of the just one, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers. Hmm. Sinasabi ni, sinasabi ni Stephen sa kanila, pinatay niyo yung king. Pinatay niyo yung king, pinatay niyo yung pinadala ng, ng langit, pinadala, pinadala ng ama. Who have received, uh, who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart and they gnashed on him with their teeth. But he being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God. And what? Jesus is standing on the right hand of God. Standing. He's not sitting. He's standing. It means he is ready to come down. And said, Behold, I see the heavens open. See that? Nagbukas ng langit, ready to come down. And the Son of God standing on the right hand of God. Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears stood their ears and ran upon him with one accord and they cast him out of the seat and stoned him and the witnesses laid down their clothes at the young man's feet whose name was Saul and they stoned Stephen calling upon God and saying Lord Jesus receive my spirit alright so he, they killed what? they killed Stephen in Acts chapter number 7 alright? Acts, Acts chapter number 7 if the gospel or the, the gospel alright or the kingdom is offered until Acts chapter 7 Pwede pastor, wala pa yung, wala pa yung ano, wala pa yung body. Okay? Kasi bakit? Kasi no for yung kingdom. Alright. Now, but let us check first the Bible. Okay? Before we conclude, using this, uh, this passages in Acts chapter 7, kasi sabi mo pastor, yung kingdom inoffered pa sa kanila. Yes, actually, kita nyo, no? Ang preaching ni Stephen, hindi sa lahat. Ang preaching niya doon sa Gentiles, uh, sa Julan. So the, the kingdom is offered. Pastor, pa, paano ngayon lilitaw na yung, yung body? Eh yung sinabi mo, ang body is composition of the Jews and the Gentiles. Say, right? Say. Okay. Now, okay, now. So this is actually a mystery. A mystery. Alright? So makita natin na uh, present ba yung body? You go to Acts chapter 2, please. Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2. Okay? Acts chapter, Acts chapter 2. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. In one place. Okay? So, 
So lahat yan, Acts chapter 2, ano po ito mga to? All are what? Jews. Tignan po natin. Ang preaching kasi sa verse 22, Ye men of Israel, hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him in the midst of you as ye yourselves also know. Okay? Now, pero, kung ito ay Israelites, okay, and especially sa Acts chapter 2 verse 38, Brad, dito nakoconfuse ang iba, ang preaching kasi dito, okay, Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Ghost. Ang kausap kasi dyan ay yung mga Jewish people. Amen. Tanda natin, sabi ng Bible, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Ibig sabihin, they are going to be saved. Kung sila'y magre-repent, ano pa? And be baptized, and they're going to be saved. Alright? Okay. Ayun din, sinabi ng Bible sa verse number 47. Praising God and having favor with all the people, and the Lord added to the church daily such as to be saved. So kung sila'y nag-repent, nagpa-baptize, ano mangyari sa kanila? Ang Holy Ghost darating sa kanila, tama? Hmm. Okay? And then sila ay masasave. So nakuha ninyo? So mayroon ng save nung panahon ng Acts chapter 2. Ang tanong, kung sila ay save, nasa sila? Saan sila bahagi? Saan sila part? Okay, saan sila part? Okay, you go to Acts chapter 1. Acts chapter 1. Acts chapter 1, verse number 5. For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized, what? With the Holy Ghost, not many days since. Have you heard that? Baptized with what? The Holy Ghost. Acts 1. O, ano nangyari sa chapter 2? Chapter 2. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. So, nung dumating yung Holy Ghost, ang ilagay dito, filled. Mm. Ang Acts chapter 1 verse 5, baptized. So, ibig sabihin, sabay na dumating yung baptism at yung filling. Uh, some of them are baptized, some yeah. of them are filled. Hindi, lahat yun. Sila ay filled. Iba kasi yung filled doon sa baptism. Pero doon sa, sa scene na ito, both nangyari yun. Filling and baptism. Okay? Kasi sa Acts chapter 4, may filling doon eh. But, but they are already saved. Merong filling. So, filling, it means you're going to be energized or empowered. You by have it Holy already. Ghost. Yeah, you have it. You are baptized. Pag baptized kasi, you have the Holy Spirit. Amen? Mm -hmm. And kapag ikaw ay na feel, it means you are empowered. Okay? Uh, Naintindihan niya? The feeling of spiritual the Holy baptism, Spirit. Spiritual baptism, Pastor. Yes, it's spiritual baptism. Mm -hmm. Spiritual baptism yun. Sa so, pagkasabi ng Acts 1.5, For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not made the day sense. Baptized by the Holy Ghost. At yun sinabi sa Acts chapter 2 verse 1, 38, ang sabi ng Bible, ano sabi niya? Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for him is, and you shall receive what? The gift of the Holy Ghost. Ano yung gift ng Holy Ghost na yan? Not gift of, uh, not the eternal life. Yeah, it's the gift of, of the Holy Ghost. It means, that is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. At ano nagagawa ng baptism ng Holy Ghost? You read 1 Corinthians 12, 13. Kung ikaw ay nabaptize ng Holy Ghost, what will happen to you? You are what? You are put to the body, body. body of Christ. Nabaptize sila ng Holy Ghost. Saan, saan sila ilalagay? Amen? Now, pero baka assumption lang natin. Let's check the Bible first. In, in Acts chapter 9, please. Acts chapter 9. Acts chapter 9. Acts chapter 9, please. Acts chapter 9. Sa Acts chapter 8, okay? Uh, Paul made havoc of what? The church. Church. Verse number 1. Saul was consenting unto his death, and at the time there was a great persecution against the church, which was at Jerusalem. And they were all scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. So, ginamit po yung word na church. Okay? One word lang po. No? Hindi sinabing churches. Church. Okay? Now, tignan po natin sa Acts 9. Acts 9, please. Acts 9. Book of Acts, chapter number 9. Okay? Alright, look at verse number 4. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Soul, soul, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. It is hard for me to kick against the prick. Okay? So you persecute me, Paul. Jesus Christ is in heaven. 
But when he's persecuting the church, alam natin, according to the Bible, that is his body. Amen? Amen. Kasi kung naramdaman ng Panginoon yun, that is his body, Jesus Christ is dead, but that is his body, the church. Kaya nung pinapersecute ni Paul, no, si Saul, I mean, Saul, kasi hindi pa Paul ang pangalan niya, he is what? Persecuting the church, the body of Christ. Entindan niyo? Kaya sabi ni Jesus Christ, me. Me, okay. Now, you go to, ah, You to go. You go to Galatians chapter one to to clear this thing. Okay, Galatians, Galatians one verse thirteen. Yeah. For you have heard of my conversation in time past in the Jews or religion. Yun. How that beyond measure I, I persecuted, persecuted what the, the church, church of God, God and wasted it. So the church of God. Nagira ba kita natin kanina? So first Corinthians ten thirty two. Nandito na po sa Acts chapter eight. Oh. Amen. Maybe earlier than that. At yung baptism ng Holy Ghost, okay, sa Acts chapter 2, meron na. Tama? Acts 1.5, binanggit niya eh. I shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Tama? Acts 2.38, the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yun na yun. Tama? O sa maliwanag, at sabi ng Bible, pinersecute ni Paul, yung Church of God. So, hindi pa po siya converted. May Church of God na. May Church of God na. Okay, another thing. So, yeah. mali talaga ang mid-Acts dispensation. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's wrong. Romans chapter number uh, 16. Ulitin po natin yung kagabi po ito. Romans 16, verse uh, number. Maganda yun, ulit-ulit natin. Oh. Amen, Romans amen. chapter 16, para maging clear. Romans 16, verse 7. Verse 7 Salute Adronicus and Junia, my kinsmen and my fellow prisoners who are of note among the apostles, Who also were in Christ before well, me. Before right? me. So they are already in Christ before Paul. Some people said that Paul started the body. No, it's not. No. It's not. Si Peter na nagpreach sa 3,000 souls sa save. Saan sila nalagay? Body. Na baptay sila ng Holy Ghost. Saan sila nalagay? According to 1 Corinthians 12, 13. They were placed into the body. So the body is present while... While the kingdom is being offered, while the kingdom is being offered, Acts chapter two, Peter is preaching. While the kingdom, dalawa po ito, no, brother. So the body is being, the body is na develop siya, the body na develop siya. While the kingdom is offered, dalawa, no. Yung isa simultaneous. Okay, kaya lang dito, dito hit siya, which means ng hit, right? Hindi pa siya revealed. Right. Hindi pa siya revealed. Pero nandito na siya, kaya lang nakatago pa na. Kung meron kang, meron kang, uh, meron kang pera, okay? Hawak-hawak mo yung pera, nandito sa bolsa mo, wala nakakalam hanggat hindi mo sinabi, oh, may pera ko. Diba? Pero nandito na sa bolsa mo. Okay? So, nireveal lang kay Paul, pero it is already present in Acts chapter 2. Kaya nga, makita ninyo, okay? Makita ninyo sa Galatians chapter 1, ikaw to Galatians chapter 1, kailan lang po niya na-reveal ito? Kailan po niya ito na akong naintindihan? Go to Galatians, Galatians chapter number 1, verse 18, verse number 17. Neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me. So may mga apostol na before sa kanya. But I went into Arabia and returned again unto Damascus. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and abode with him 15 days. But out other apostles saw I none. Say James, the Lord's brother. Now the things which I write unto you, behold, before God, I lie not. So later on, makita natin sa verse twenty two, and was unknown by face unto the churches of Judea, which were in what? In Christ. Oh, so hindi pa siya kilala, hindi pa siya nagpipreach sa kanila. Ako nyo? Wow. Sila ina kay Christ kuna. So yung i-reveal sa kanya sa Arabia, then yeah. i-reveal na lang yun sa kanya. Pero they are already in Christ. Look at verse number 22. It was unknown by face yeah. unto the churches of the day, which were in Christ. But they had heard only that he which persecuted us in times past now preached the faith which once he destroyed. destroyed. So they have the faith. The faith in Christ. Do you know, no? Meron ng body. Nung na-reveal sa kanya sa Arabia, Okay? Hindi pa siya known yung face niya, pero they are already 
in Christ. Mm -hmm. So, bakit ganun po, sir? Because it's developing, it's a transition. Mm -hmm. Hindi ka agad dito na-reveal, but already there, but it's a transition. Hanggang sa naging clear lang sa kanila, kaya na. E si Paul nga nagpipreach na dito, hindi pa rin clear sa kanila lahat eh. Pansin ninyo sa Acts chapter 15. Naging clear lang talaga sa kanila, maging si Peter, si Peter nga sa Acts chapter 10. Hindi pa rin niya naintindihan bakit yung mga Gentiles kasama doon sa program ng Diyos, Acts chapter 10. Nakita nyo? Okay? And then may question kahagabi, bakit may tongues? Because kasi nga, may mga unbelieving Jews. Israel started with signs. Okay? Kaya may tongues. Amen. Sa Acts chapter 2, bakit may tongues? Kasi nga, may mga unbelieving Jews. Yan ang reason nun. Acts chapter 19, bakit may tongues? Because may mga unbelieving Jews. But if you're going to see, the body is already here. In Acts chapter 2. Because, yung Acts 1, 5, sabi niya, He shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Yan ang purpose ng baptism ng Holy Ghost. To put them to the body, right? Kaya they're already in Christ before Paul. At kaya nga may pinersecute na siyang body eh. May pinersecute siyang Church of God. Bakit? They're already in the body of Christ. Kailan sila nag-start? Nagkaroon sila ng nasama sila sa Church of God. Nung sila'y nabaptize ng Holy Ghost, right? They're 3,000 yun na sila na yun. So you cannot persecute the Church of God without existing body of Church of God? That's true. Okay, that's true. You go to Acts chapter 15. Tignan po ninyo, oh. Kasi nga, progressive yung learning po nila sa sa program ng Diyos, eh. Okay? Dito nga, may problem pa sila. Tignan mo sa problem nila. Okay? Verse number 1, And certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, ye cannot be saved. When therefore Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension, and disputation with them, they determined that Paul and Barnabas and a certain other of them should go up to Jerusalem unto the apostles and elders about this what? Question. So may question pa, may problema pa. Okay? And being brought on their way by the church, they passed through the Phoenice and Samaria declaring the conversation of the Gentiles and they caused great joy unto all the people. So may conversion na. Sana convert yung mga Gentiles. Na-convert sila sa faith. Okay? Na-save sila. According to so Acts chapter 2, may salvation na sa Acts chapter 2, right? Hmm. Kaya lang, yung sa salvation sa Acts chapter 2, hindi pwede maging salvation natin ngayon kasi sila, uh, sa Acts chapter 2, ang dealing doon sa mga Jew. Jew. Okay? And may baptism sa Acts chapter 2, verse 8. So we can say, Pastor John, uh, the first group of the body of Christ was Jewish. Yeah. Jews, group of Jews. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Thank you for asking, Brad. Okay. Amen. Uh, look at this one. Verse number 8. And God, which knoweth the hearts, bear them witness, giving them what? The Holy Ghost, even as He did unto us. Naka na? Yeah. Ano yung as na yun? Si Peter na nagsasabi nun. Hmm. Saan niya sinabi yun? Sa Acts chapter 10. Tama? Si, si Peter ba alam na ba niya yung Holy Ghost? Anong action ng Holy Ghost? Okay? Uh, you go to Acts chapter 10. Ito yung nakita niya sa Acts chapter 10. Tignan niya sa verse 44. Okay? Ito yung action niya. Any question? May mga tanong na ba? Uh, we have five questions. Wow. Okay. So tapusin lang po natin. We're going to uh, answer some questions. Acts 10, 44. While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word, and they of the circumcision which believers are astonished, as many as came with Peter, because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. You see that? Amen? For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Then answered Peter, Can any man forbid water? There should not be baptized which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. So may mga nasave na ba dito? Sa Acts chapter 10? Yeah. Gentiles. Gentiles, right? Okay? Pero makita ninyo, sa Acts chapter 15, doon naging maliwanag lang sa kanila yung preaching ng salvation by grace. And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord, then prayed him to tarry, tarry Sundays. Kaya sa Acts chapter 15, sabi ni Peter, kung paano sila nasave, okay? Ganon din tayo nasave. Okay? Now, so, diniklear po nila ito kung anong dapat nilang i-preach. So, verse number 9, And put no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith, 
Now therefore, why tempt ye God to put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear? But we believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved even as they. Doon naging maliwanag sa kanila na yung Gentiles masisave sila by grace, yung Jew masisave sila by grace. Okay? Mm. So you're going to see is everything is not yet clear to them. The body is not yet clear to them. The dispensation is not yet clear to them. The preaching of the gospel of the grace of God is not yet clear to them. So na nakaklarify lang unti-unti. Tanda natin, Acts is a book of transition. transition. Kaya nga, pagdating dito sa Acts 16, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and, and thou shalt be saved. Iba na. Sa Acts chapter 2 verse 38, <laughs> repent for the uh, kingdom of heaven. Uh, repent uh, and be baptized. Uh, Pagkaya sa Acts chapter 16, bakit? Kasi na-clear na nila sa Acts 15, 15 eh. okay kung ano eh. kanilang ipipreach. Uh, and all the way up to the book of Acts chapter 28. Wow, Acts 15, 11. Oh. Amen. Kaya huwag mo sasabihin, nag-start pa lang ang body dito sa Acts 28, medyo may problema ka na. Dito nga, maintindihan na nila eh. Uh, ikaw okay. hindi pa. <laughs> Alright. Tapos pupunta ka sa Acts chapter 13. No, I tell you, it's already there. Because it's a transition. Period. It's a growing okay. body. That's it's growing right. Body. It's an organism, a growing hmm. organism. Hmm. So the question kanina, sino yung mga unang mga naging member ng body? Of course, those Jewish. are the Jewish people. Okay. To the Jew first pa din pa sir, no? Yeah, to the Jew first. And also to the Greek. <laughs> to the Greek. Bihira, no? Always priority. Yeah. Priority line. Tama po. Priority is the Jewish people. Amen, amen. Romans 1.16. So, we can ask questions, sir? Alright, yes. Okay, so number one question has been answered. Expound Acts 2.38. It was answered already. And number two question is, what is the baptism in Ephesians 4.5? Okay. One baptism. Right. And we all know that there are a lot of baptism in the Bible. Okay. Yeah, one of them is found. You go to Matthew 3. Yeah. Matthew chapter 3. Ito actually no, ay uh, isang ano rin sa akin ito eh. Uh, actually isang question din sa akin. Na uh, question sa akin ito. Kung inyong makikita sa Matthew chapter 3. Alright. Matthew chapter 3. 11. Okay, verse number 11. Alright, Matthew 3, 11. Ito, check nyo lang po ito. No? Scripture magsasalita nito. I am did baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Alright? Baptize with the Holy Ghost. Who is going to be the baptizer? It's the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay? Si Jesus ang baptizer ng Holy Ghost. Okay? It's going to be the baptizer. Alright. And then, kung inyong makikita sa Acts chapter 1, balik tayo sa Acts chapter 1 verse 5. Okay. Merong changes dito, nakita ko. Uh -huh. Acts chapter 1 verse 5. Ang change dito, ganito, Acts chapter 1 verse number 5. Ano kayo dito? For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not may the day send. So with the Holy Ghost. So there's a baptism of what? The Holy Ghost. Amen? By what? By who? Jesus Who's going Christ. to be baptized? Who are going to baptize them? Jesus if you are going to relate that to Matthew 3.11, that baptism is being operated by Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Okay? Pero pagdating sa Acts, the book of Acts, tanda natin, Jesus Christ in the book of John 14 and John chapter 16, sabi ni Jesus, I'm going to leave you the comforter. Mm. So he's going to what? He's going to work everything. Amen? Big sabihin, susuluhin na ng Holy Ghost. Naintindihan nyo? Uh -huh. You go to what? You go to John chapter 16. I'm going to show you something. John chapter 16. Susuluhin na niya. Okay? John chapter 16. Look at this one. Verse 7. Uh, verse number uh, verse number 5. The work of the Holy Spirit in the church age. But now I go my way to him that sent me. And none of you asketh me, whither thou goest thou? But because I have said these things unto you, Sorrow hath filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter, that's the benefit of Jesus Christ leaving the earth, mm -hmm. will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he's come, he will what? Reprove the world of sin wow. and of righteousness and, and of judgment of sin because they believe not on me. Of righteousness because I go to my Father and you see me what? No more. no more. 
of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. Alright? And later on you will see has already given the all over work in the ministry in the church for the Holy Ghost. And did Yeah. So baptism in 1 Corinthians 12, 13. Kaya nga, sa 1 Corinthians, sabi ng Bible, go to 1 Corinthians 12, 13. Ano sabi niya? Sa sabi mo? 1 Corinthians chapter number 12. Oh, ah, tignan Verse niya. number 13, it says, okay. For by one spirit are we all baptized yeah. into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we, whether we be bound or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. Bakit spirit na lang? Wala na si Jesus Christ. Hmm. Kasi nga, sabi niya, yan ang benefit ng pagalis niya. Para yung comforter, yung Holy Ghost, will work Operation, alone. Na? Will work alone. To operate to the whole world. Hmm. Alright? Okay, so naintindihan niyo? Amen. Amen. So, the baptism there is the baptism of what? The Holy Ghost. To put you into that one body. Okay, that's the answer there. Okay, any question? Another question. Number three. Who are the prophets in Ephesians chapter 4 verse number 11? And he gave some apostles, yeah. prophets. Kasi ang prophets kasi, uh, tingnan muna natin sa 1 Corinthians. Kasi meron dyan sa Acts. I think it was in Acts chapter 19. Yung Agabos, di ba? May prophet pa doon. Pero punta muna tayo sa 1 Corinthians. Ano yung sinabi ko? Chapter 4. Uh, ah. First Corinthians chapter 13. First Corinthians 13. Okay? First Corinthians 13. Tignan po ninyo yung love chapter natin. First Corinthians 13. Okay? First Corinthians 13. Look at this one. Alright? Uh, look at this one. Verse number 9. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. So yung we alone, okay? He is, that's, ini-include ni Paul yung kanya sarili. Ang sabi ng Bible. For we know in part, we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I stood as a child, I thought as a child, and when I became a man, I put away childish things, for now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face, now I know in part, then shall I know even as I also I am known, Okay? So, yung darating na yung perfect. So, yung completeness ng scripture. Okay? So, yung mga apostles. Alright? Diba? Part sila ng mga prophets. Sabi ni Paul, we prophesy. We. Kami mga apostol. We prophesy. Naintindihan niyo? So, may mga disciples, apostles ng panahon ni Christ. Okay? Pero meron din mga disciples at apostles sa panahon ng Acts. And some of them prophecy. Alright? Prophecy. Diba? Yung sulat ni Paul about the second advent. Mm, okay? A prophecy. A prophecy. Oh. Si John. Okay. Sa Bible. Sa book of Revelation. Mm -hmm. Prophecy. Oh. Okay? So may mga prophets dito. So lahat ng mga tao na involved sa writing ng New Testament na meron silang sinabi tungkol sa coming of Christ, sa future, they are prophesying. They are foretelling. They are saying something about the future. Yun ang work ng prophets. Amen. Pero nung nakompleto na nila ang lahat ng kanilang writings, what happened? When the perfect is come, yung lahat ng part na yun will be done away. Alright? All right? Okay. Number four. Question. What is replacement theology? Oh, wow. Okay. Andersonites. Okay? <laughs> Yan ang si Anderson. Okay? Uh, ang pangalan niyan? Steve? Steven Anderson. Steven Anderson. Okay? Ang replacement theology. You go to Acts chapter 1, please. Acts chapter 1. Going to show you something. Acts chapter 1. Okay? Uh, they are asking the Lord here in Acts chapter 1. Okay? Acts chapter 1. About the, the times of repressing. Okay? The times of repressing. I think that's in verse... Uh, where is that? Okay. Look at verse number 3. To whom also he showed himself alive 
after his passion by many infallible world proofs, being seen of them forty days and speaking of things pertaining to the kingdom of God, and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, ye have heard of me. Okay? Okay, check natin the time. Okay, verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. So the word replacement, replacement theology, ito yun. Okay? Okay. God is going to what? Restore his kingdom. Mm. It means Jew will be intact. It will come back. It will intact. It will intact. Ibig sabihin kasi ang Jew, hindi siya mawawala kasi i-restore yung kingdom sa kanila. Amen. Kung mawawala sila, mapocross out sila sa mundo, wala nang kingdom na marirestore. Kaya nga tanong nila kay Jesus Christ, i-restore mo na ba yung kingdom ngayon? Mm. It means, andito na kami, ready for the kingdom. Pero sabi niya, hindi kayo, hindi niyo alam kung ano mangyayari. You're not, you don't know it. Okay? Because, Tandaan natin, bakit hindi na-restore? Because in Acts chapter 7, they rejected the kingdom. Okay? Alright? Hanggang ang Panginoon, nag-turn sa mga Gentiles. But it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that, Jesus, that God has already forgotten the Jewish people. Because in Romans chapter 11, okay, check Romans chapter 11, verse 25, ang nangyari sa Hudyo, after they rejected the kingdom, ito nangyari sa kanila. Blind. Romans chapter 11, verse 25. Okay, are you following? Amen, amen. amen. Uh, Mag-thumbs up lang po kayo kung kayo po ay sumusunod sa ating study. Verse 25, I will that brethren that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you, be, you should be wise in your own conscience that in blindness in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. So, naintindihan ninyo? There will be a restoration. Okay. So, hindi ni-replace ng church ang Jew. Yeah. First Corinthians 10, 32. Huwag kang ma-offend. Huwag mong i-offend ang Jew. Oh. Kasi pag sinabi mo, wala na restoration sa inyo, pinurgat na kayo ng Panginoon, wala na kayong place sa, sa mundo, dahil ni-reject nyo yung kingdom, ni-reject nyo si Christ, cross out na kayo. Don't offend them. <laughs> Offense ka sa kanila na. Kasi ang promise ng Diyos, God will save them again. Kaya hindi sila pinalitan ng church. Lahat ng promises sa kanila, intak pa rin sa kanila yon. Kung anong nagalagay sa Old Testament na mangyayari para sa kanila, mari-restore yun sa pagdating ni Kristo. Okay? Amen, amen. Kaya hindi ni-replace ng church ang Jew. Ang ginagamit nila dyan, Brad, Romans chapter 2, verse 29. Okay, ito yung ginagamit nila. Okay? Romans 2, 29. And I'm going to explain this part of the of our question. But he is a Jew which is one inwardly. Verse 28 muna. For he is not a Jew which is one outwardly, neither is he that circumcision which is outward in the flesh. So merong physical Jew. 28. But he is a Jew which is one inwardly. Ito yung spiritual Jew. And circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. Okay. Ano yung circumcision na ito? Binanggit yan sa Colossians chapter two. number 2, verse 10, 10 and 11. 11 and 12. Ito yung mga saved believers na nakatanggap sila ng circumcision. They are Jew in spirit. Spiritual Jew. Sino yung mga yun? Yung mga na-saved. Yung nasa church of God. Na mga Gentiles. Okay? At pero may mga physical Jew na circumcised sila outwardly. Maybe because there's a, there's a Jew inside of us. And that's Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's why Pastor has... Uh, Pero ang token kasi, Brad, ng Jew, is circumcision. Mm -hmm. So, yung circumcision na yun, kaya tatawagin kang Jew kapag circumcised kayo. Oh, physically, okay? di ba, Pastor? Tama yun. Uh -huh. So, ang, 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 ang reason kung bakit natawag tayong Jew inside, because of the circumcision of the body and of the spirit. Okay? Mm -hmm. Nahiwala yung soul at saka yung body. Circumcision ah, yun. Uh -huh. Okay? Yun yung token. Na ikaw ay Hudyo. Abrahamic Covenant. Tama yung brand. Tama. Okay? So may connection sa Abrahamic Covenant. Oh, bira. Okay, check natin sa Galatians <laughs> chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3. Kaya maganda po nagtatanong. Amen. Amen. Saan amen, amen. talaga natin? Portante po magtanong. Magtanong po kayo. Wala pong bayad po yan. Okay? Pwede ba sabihin ko sino nagtatanong para sa ganun ay ma-recognize natin? Okay? 
Galatians chapter 3. Tignan po natin sa Bible natin. Alright? Look at verse number 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ. And if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So because of the Lord Jesus Christ. So nakita natin, mayroong spiritual, may physical Jew. Amen, amen. Okay. So yan po ay, hindi po pinalitan ng church ang Israel. Amen. All the promises given to Israel are not transferred to the church. Ang tawag po ng mga yon ay mga post-millennialists and mga amillennialists. Okay? Kaya we believe premillennialists because of the restoration of kingdom to Israel. Premillennialism. That's the correct interpretation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? So, sino po yung nagtanong na yun? Sino yung mga nag-question na yun? Ako din pa to. Okay. Ang nag-question, Brother Mike Abito. Okay, the missionary. Number five. Okay, number five question is that, please explain Acts chapter 2, verse 36. It says, Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus. This is the question. Whom ye have, whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. So the question is, Pastor, bakit si Jesus Christ was made as Lord and Christ? Okay. Pero di ba Lord nasa cah Christ nasa? But why we have the word made here? Okay. So he has to pass the test. He has to pass the test. At binanggit po yan sa Philippians chapter 2. He has to pass the test. Mm -hmm. e ang misinabi ang Bible sa Hebrews chapter 7, I think, in Hebrews chapter 2, hindi po ako nagkakamali, no? Go to Hebrews chapter 7. Okay? Uh, he has to pass the test. Hebrews chapter 7. Okay? Ito po, sabi niya, uh, look at this one. 25, Hebrews 7, 25. Wherefore, he is able also to save them to the other cause that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth. Alright? Okay? He ever liveth to make intercession for them. For such an high priest became us who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than the heavens. Who needed not daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifice first for his own, his own sins and then for the peoples for this he did once when he offered up himself. Kita niya? Opo. Brad? Yeah. Kailan siya naging high priest? Itanong ko sa'yo, kailan siya naging high priest? Nung in-offer niya kanyang sarili. Okay? So may position na nakuha niya because he, he must pass the test. He amen, must pass amen. The test. Yes, he is already Lord. Mm -hmm. And I know. Lord and I know. Christ. In Christ, yes. But he has to prove it. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's the high priest, but he has to prove it. By what? By dying on the cross. That is in Philippians chapter 2. Mm -hmm. Not in Philippians chapter 2. Mm -hmm. He has to pass the test. Okay? Kaya yung word na perfected. Meron yung word brad na yun, sa Hebrews. Uh -huh. he, he was perfected by, uh, by suffering. Perfected by suffering. Philippians 2, verse number 5 up to verse number 11. Mm -hmm. Okay, yun ang makikita nyo, brad, na dumaan siya sa test ng humility, obedience, hanggang siya ay tinaas ng Diyos. Sabi ng Bible, verse 9, Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Amen. So he has to pass the test. Merong word daw sa Bible yun. Mm -hmm. He was perfected, sabi ng Bible. Perfect na ba si Cristo? Yes. Pero kailangan dumaan siya para talagang ma-prove na siya perfect. Okay? So, duman siya talaga sa, sa test and God made him the Lord and Christ. It means he is the qualified. He qualifies. Amen? He qualifies. Talagang siya naman ang Lord eh. Pero lalong napatunay na siya Lord and Christ. Hmm. Tama po? Amen. May okay. question pa, sir? Uh, another question from Oshea Jaire. When did the blindness of Israel start in rejecting God in the Old Testament, rejecting Christ as their Messiah? It was uh, during the time when they rejected Christ as the Messiah. Okay? So, kung inyong makikita, 
So the uh, ito kasi Christ is giving them the life, no? Tandaan natin, the purpose of Jesus Christ is what? Is going to be what? The life of the world. Nasaan 'yon? Sa John chapter 9 verse 4, right? John 9:4, okay? Siya na 'yung ano, ano siya, life. Now, if they mm. rejected the light, oh, okay. anong meron sila? Darkness, blindness. Yeah. John, uh, John 3.19, basahin mo yung brad. John 3.19. John 3.18 and 19. John 3.18 and 19. So, the, uh, John 3.18 and 19. Sige ba? Okay. John 3.18 and 19. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, yeah. because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Look at verse 19. Verse 19, And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love, it, love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. So Yo. the darkness happened when they rejected the light. Ang nangyari, ang naging God nila, okay, hindi nila alam ito, ang naging God nila is Lucifer. Mm-hmm. 2 Corinthians 4, 4. In whom the God of this world yeah, had blinded the minds of them, Yo. which believed not. So when they rejected the Lord Jesus Christ and they didn't believe Jesus Christ, the darkness happened to them. Okay? Total darkness. Ito. Yeah. Now, uh, we have another question from Brother Jabez Cortez. Yeah. Pastor, paano po yung mga pastor na naniniwala sa 1 Corinthians 15, 1 to 4, yun yung gospel, Pero sinasama din po yung Acts 2.38 sa pag-witness nila. Okay. Alright. So that's the reason why merong purpose ang ating pag-aaral. <laughs> Ayun nga tayo nag-aaral eh. We are studying the proper, okay? Sabi natin, interpretation using the scriptures, okay? Yung 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 1 to 3, yun ang gospel, tama? Ano yun? The death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. That's the gospel. That's complete. Yun ang gospel na pinipreach natin ngayon. You cannot preach Acts 2.38 now because ang composition nun ay para sa Hudyo. We're not dealing to the Jew only. We're also dealing to the Gentiles. And during the times Acts chapter 2 verse 38, sariwa pa yung kanilang pagpapako kay Kristo sa cross. Uh, Kaya sila pinariripen because may ginawa sila sa Misaya. Meron silang ginawa doon kay Kristo. So what happened is that they have to repent. Anong repentance yun? Sa kanilang pagpatay. Okay. National repentance pa siya. Tama yun. Okay? So they need to repent. Sa atin, sa Acts 16, makita ninyo, bakit hindi na tinuturo sa Acts 16 yung repent? Because, alright, it's no more dealing with the Jewish people, they're dealing to the world. To the whole world. Nasa Macedonia na sila eh. To the world. Okay? Gentiles ito. Kaya sa Acts 16, 11. So ngayon, ang tanong, pastor, kung yan ay pinipreach sa mga pastor, okay, ano ba ang nangyayari? Okay, tingnan natin sa 1 Timothy chapter 4. Alright, 1 Timothy chapter 4. Ito ang nangyayari. 1 Timothy chapter 4, sa ibang mga pastor. Okay, sana mapanood ng mga pastor ito. Okay, hindi lang yung mga, yung mga membro. Okay, 1 Timothy chapter 4. Okay, 1 Timothy chapter 4. Alright, look at this one. Now the Spirit, verse 1, speak at expressly that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. devils. Kapag ang truth at error, okay, or misplaced verse, okay, ay pinagmix mo sa truth, that is what we call a confusion, apostasy, doctrines of devils. Ang devil hindi siya gagamit ng error lang. Imibig siya yung error sa truth. Para kala mo truth, yung pala error. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ano? Okay. Leaven, doctrine of leaven. Yeah, bakit? Because nakalagay dito, oh, sa verse 3. Uh, verse 2, speaking lies in hypocrisy. Pag sinasabi yung hypocrisy, ibig sabihin, kala mo totoo, pero hindi naman. <laughs> diba? Fake. <laughs> Kaya nga, dapat talaga, mag-aaral ng mga pastor, ulit, study to show thyself a poop unto God. Kasi nga, Ang pinag-uusapan natin dyan, hindi isa lang nakaluluwa. We're talking about generations. Hmm. Tama? Tulad ng Baptist Bridesy. Yon. Pinipilit nila yun si Cristo Baptist. Tapos bago nila pinangagalandaman sa pulpito yan, pag-aralan muna nila kung anong doktrin ang dala nila. Kasi, nakukonfuse ang mga tao na nagkakaroon sila ng erroneous belief. 
Kaya meron tayong ganitong open forum, di ba? Kahit na by, by way of the online. Gusto ko nga na ang mga tao dyan magtanong. Para sa ganun, talagang ma-clear natin. As a scripture ba yung kanilang tinatayuan? Amen? Okay? Kung, kung ikaw ay Calvinist, then pwede ka dito, invite kita dito. Magturo ka ng Calvinist, magtuturo naman akong tao ng right division. At tayo ay mag-usap talaga sa Bible. Okay? Amen? Amen, amen. So, follow-up question from Brother Jabez Cortez. Saved po ba sila, Pastor? <laughs> of course, they are saved. Kasi nga, nagpipreach sila ng, ano, ng gospel. Eh. Ang meron lang sa kanila, confused sila. Meron sila mga erroneous teaching. Kasi natin naman sa isip nila yung salvation is si Kristo eh. Salvation by grace. Kaya lang they are misled by using verses na hindi nila alam, hindi pala yon part ng preaching ng gospel sa ating parang They are misled. Mm -hmm. Pero sa isip nila, ang salvation is by grace. Uh -huh. Kasi kahit tanongin mo sila, paano pamalik sa isang tao? So, biyaya. Pero yung Acts 13, hindi naman by grace yun. May works na kasama doon. May baptism yun. <laughs> okay? Is Christ a Baptist because He was baptized by John the Baptist? Okay. <laughs> paano naging baptist si John the Baptist? <laughs> That is his name. Uh -huh. Alright? Okay? That is his name. John the Baptist. So, nag-iisa lang siyang Baptist. Hmm. Kaya nung nag-baptize siya ng, ng mga tao, hindi tinawag silang Baptist. Hmm. Ano tawag sa kanila? Tinawag silang mga Jew. Na hmm. nag-retain pa rin sa kanila yung Judaism. Actually, kung pupunta ka sa Acts chapter 3, may temple worship pa rin sila. Uh -huh. Sabbath keeping pa rin sila. Meat abstaining pa rin sila. Acts chapter 3, di ba? Hmm. Nagpipray sila doon sa temple at the third hour. Hmm. Ano ibig sabihin no? Baptist ba sila? The lame man. Kutyo pa rin sila. <laughs> <laughs> si Paul nga, sa Acts chapter 17, bumalik pa siya doon sa Jerusalem eh. Uh -huh. Kasi nagkaroon siya ng sworn, meron siyang sworn statement, may pao siya, na babalik siya sa Jerusalem. Mga kutyo pa rin sila. Hindi sila mga Baptist. At ang pinipreach nila, the kingdom of heaven. Yung Baptist ba, pinipreach niya yung kingdom of heaven? Sinasabi ba doon sa pulpit mo, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So they're not Baptist. Uh, okay. okay? Question from Sister Ivy Tarubago. This is from Kenya. Wow. Pastor, may tanong po ako sa Matthew chapter 12 verses 31 to 32. Masesave po ba sila pag nag-repent? Okay. Pasahin muna natin. Matthew 12. 31. Okay. Dapat may cut off tayo, brad. Hanggang ano lang tayo, 11.30. Ah, uh, we have 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Matthew 12, parang? Opo. Oh, Reserve natin ibang question. Okay, Matthew 12, verse what? 31 to 32. Okay, basahin natin. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. So, ang, ang, ano niyan, ang karagdagan niya na, ano, na verse ay sa Matthew, Mark 3, verse number 28 to 30. Okay? Mark 3, verse 28 to 30. Tignan natin, ha? Mark 3, verse 28 to 30. Okay? Tignan natin, ha? Verily I say unto you, all sins shall be forgiven. What? Forgiven. Kita niya? Hmm. Sons of men and blasphemies, wherewith you see they shall blaspheme. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost hath given, hath never forgiveness, but it is in the danger of eternal damnation. Grabe, no? So walang forgiveness. Yung blasphemy ng Holy Ghost. Kaya lang, ang tanong dyan siguro, sister, I be, Baka tinatanong mo, baka ito ay nangyayari pa sa panahon natin ngayon. Yung blasphemy against what? The Holy Ghost. Pero that's the reason why we are studying the Bible. Okay? Let us not apply the verse that is not related to us. Mm -hmm. Okay? Look at verse 20, 22. And the scribes came down from Jerusalem and said, He hath Beelzebub. by the prince of the devils casted he out devils. And he called them unto him, how said unto them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. 
And if Satan rise up against himself, and he divided, he cannot stand but at end. No man can enter into a strong, a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. But I say unto you, all sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men, and blasphemies wherewith soever they shall blaspheme, but he that shall blaspheme. Verse 30, because they said he had unclean Yun, yun yung blasphemy against That's the Lord. That's the reason. Yeah. Amen. Now remember this. Okay? Jesus Christ is going to be the king. The king of Israel. Kaya nga sa Acts chapter 7 kanina, diba? Resist the Holy Ghost. Mm. Kasi yung pag-set up ng kingdom, alright? Kasama yung Holy Ghost dun eh. Tama? Kaya nga sa Matthew 3.11, magbabaktay si Christ ng Holy Ghost. Tapos sabi mo kay Kristo, ang, ang kanyang spirito ay unclean. That's mm -hmm. blasphemy. Mm -hmm. It means you rejected the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. You rejected God. You rejected the Son. Oh, Alright? So, ibig sabihin, they rejected what? The kingdom. Unpardonable sin. <laughs> During that time, ha? Uh, During that time. Yung time lang na yun. Yung time na yun. Kasi bakit? Kasi ang kausap niya, kapatid, ay hindi mga kudyo lang. He's not just talking to the nation Israel. He's talking to what? Particular. Yeah, um, certain scribes. And of the Pharisees. Ano ba sila? Ano mga scribes at Pharisees na ito? You go to Matthew 23. Kaya nga sinasabi ko, brother, talagang may mga taong talagang declared na sa impyerno eh. Oh, Amen? Predestinated na ito. Right. Matthew 23. Verse 23. Woe unto scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe. And have omitted with your matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith, this ought ye have done. And not to leave the other undone. Look at verse 15. Mm -hmm. Who okay. unto his scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye come, compass see, and land to make one proselyte. And when he made, he make him twofold more, the child of hell, than yourselves. You see okay. that? Child of hell. So they blaspheme the Holy Ghost, and according to the Lord Jesus Christ, wala kayong kapatawaran because you are already child of hell. That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. Amen. Amen. And don't apply that to the nation of Israel. Bakit? May restoration sa nga sa kanila. May salvation sila ulit. Naintindihan niyo? Amen. Okay? Eh, kailan ba yun? Kailan ba yun? Nung panahon, in-offer ni Christ yung ano? Yung kingdom. kingdom. Uh -huh. At may certain before the cross may certain, yun ang word doon, may certain. May ilang mga scribes at pariseo. Sinabi ni Kristo, yung mga anak ng impyerno yan. Hindi <laughs> na, wala na silang kawalan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaya nga sa Genesis 3.15, may sin, di Satan eh. Mm -hmm. Kaya nga sabi ni Jesus Christ kay, no, kay, I have chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil. <laughs> one of the devil. Yeah. <laughs> of diba? Walang kapatawaran sa kanila eh. Oh. Yeah, blasphemy of the Holy Ghost ang ginawa niya. So, uh, partially, yung Calvinism, mayroong may point ng konti. <laughs> ang Calvinism kasi, ito sa mga unsaved na mga tao. Okay? Mga tao. Uh, ordinary tao. Okay? Sa kanila, may elected. Alright. Uh, right. So, okay, so wala na bang question? Let's, let's entertain another question. Okay na po. Si Father Nick, wala kang tanong, bro. Okay? So, uh, hopefully, tonight, Okay, nakapagbigay po tayo ng, ng, ng Word of God na mapag-isipan nyo ngayong gabi at makakadagdag doon sa kalaman ninyo at para mabawasan ang ilang sa mga pag-isip na nagkukos sa inyo ng confusion. And if you have some questions, idagdag lang po ninyo doon sa inyong mga messages dyan at i-entertain po natin yan pag binigyan tayo Diyos, ng Diyos ulit ng pagkakataon to study the Word of God. So we have studied Amen. this study on the book of Acts. Okay? Amen. May I call Brother Mike again Amen. for the last words. So, uh, words. yun po. Magandang gabi po muli sa inyo lahat. I hope and pray na naging blessing po yun. And I know that's, that will be a blessing if you're a Bible believer and you love the Word of God, the King James Bible. That will be a blessing. And if you still have your question, you, still, uh, you can uh, still write your question down below on our comment section and that will be our... Uh, Pleasure to answer that question. Yeah, uh, amen. Uh, have a good night. Have a good rest. And we greet you 
in the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. Happy so, quarantine day. Happy quarantine day. Happy COVID-19. Let's just enjoy the COVID-19, okay? It's just, uh, you know, madalan lang to, madalang lang. So, let's close this meeting in a word of prayer. Let's pray, Father Lord in heaven. So Once again, Lord, we are so much thankful for, for this blessing, Lord. Yes. This is so rare. Hindi po lahat, Panginoon, ng klase po ng pastor ay merong ganitong such a knowledge, Lord. Oh, yes. At hindi lahat ng Christian, Lord, ay nag ng ganitong kadip. But we are so much thankful, Lord, for allowing us to have the access with this kind of knowledge. Very rare, Lord. That's why we are so much uh, thankful and grateful, Lord, for having this uh, study, Lord. Oh, Allow God. us to uh, study again, Lord, by tomorrow. Give us a good night, good sleep, and good rest. And of course, with your servant, Lord, with Pastor Jonathan, please, Lord, allow him to come back again and start the teaching, Lord willing, and Lord, provide a good help for him. And also, Lord, we are also praying for our brothers and sisters around the world. Lord, please uh, keep them safe. And if you're coming back, Panginoon, we are ready to go with you. Panginoon, Amen. salamat uh, for the blessing once again tonight. This is our old prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So God bless, guys. Have a good night. Amen. Amen.